Hey there, all you 40k fanatics. It's me, Casey, again, here from the Grim Dark Garage, bringing you all that sweet, succulent, amazing 40k content. So, uh, a couple things. I'd like to say thank you all for listening, subscribing. We hit 100 subscribers these uh, last few weeks here at 40k Fanatics on the YouTube channel, and we really appreciate your patronage. So, uh, we'll keep working hard to bring you that new content, and hope you appreciate it. Try to follow us on all of our socials and like, comment, and subscribe. Without any further ado, let's get the show on the road. No enemy. The foe on the battlefield is merely the manifestation of that which we must overcome. He is doubt and fear and despair. Every battle is fought within. Conquer the battlefield that lies inside you, and the enemy disappears like the illusion he is. Rogel Dorn, the Primarch of the Seventh Legion, also known as the Imperial Fist, and I'm not gonna lie, I have been pretty stoked about doing this video on him. He is, he's pretty neat. One of the great heroes of the Imperium, Rogel Dorn would be known by many names, like the Unyielding One, the Vigilant, and even his own personal favorite, the Praetorian of Terra. Rogel Dorn was an indomitable, immovable, and stern man whose origins reflected his posture. Rogel Dorn's planet of origin was called Inwit, a planet tidally locked around its failing sun. One side of the planet shrouded perpetually in darkness, while the other had a low red sun glow. The temperatures were cold and freezing, and the people of Inwit were shrewd, harsh, and indomitable. The planet had an unforgiving environment. It's covered in frozen oceans with blind, hostile creatures that hunted with vibration. Inuit had huge snowy mountains, vast crevice mazes, and sprawling snow dunes. The hostile nature of the planet shaped its people and their beliefs even to this day. The people of Inuit despise weakness, frivolity, or a lack of character. They prioritize the needs of their barbarian tribes over the needs of an individual. They believe that any form of carelessness or lack of focus to lead to the death of the tribe as a whole itself. Rogel Dorn thrived in this environment and would one day lead their tribes. Not much is known about Rogel Dorn's youth, however. We just know that he was adopted by the old patriarch of the House of Dorn, becoming the adopted grandfather of Rogel Dorn, the man would teach him everything he knew of tactics, strategy, and diplomacy. Long after his death, Rogel even held his grandfather in high esteem and would often sleep in his fur lined coat every single night as a keepsake from the old man. Rogel Dorn would go on to lead the Inwit Empire to even greater heights, becoming Inwit's emperor. He would then train his armies and fashioned spacecraft more advanced than any that had ever been seen in the Empire, and United Solar System as a whole. One day he would go on to discover a prize within the solar region of Inwit that would shape his history and that of his legion to this day. Starship, bigger and more grand than any on Imperial record, Rogel Dorn would devote years of his life to the repair of this broken vessel. In fact, Forty years after the death of his grandfather, Rogel Dorn would meet the Emperor of Mankind, not just as head of a solar empire and leader of a fleet, but aboard the bridge of this moon-sized ship known as the Phalanx. Upon meeting the Emperor aboard the bridge of the Phalanx, Rogel Dorn would gift his ship and the empire he ruled to what he recognized as his father. The Emperor would return this kindness by uniting his sons with the Seventh Legion, known as the Imperial Fists. Made from his gene seed, they transformed the Phalanx into a well-equipped fortress monastery and regifted the vessel back to his son. At the command of his new flagship and the Seventh Legion, Dorn would fiercely follow the Emperor in his great crusade. He was devoted to his father and the pursuit of truth the Great Crusade would spread throughout the galaxy. His peerless devotion and military genius, combined with rare, zealous tendencies, led the Seventh Legion to innumerable honors. 
Rogel Dorn and his legion would go on to build an immovable foundation that holds the Imperium together to this very day. And that's been it for Rogel Dorn. Thanks a lot for listening, guys. I appreciate it. Hopefully we can get the Imperial Fist episode out pretty soon and get you guys going. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and tell everybody that you can about us. We really appreciate your patronage. I mean, honestly, we work really hard at this. Thanks so much, and uh, we'll see you out there in the grim darkness of the far future. See you later, guys. Thanks for listening.